Hi everybody, how are you? Okay, today we are going to talk about a little baby named Moses. So first I'm going to read you this quick little book about it. And you will find attached is this book that you can print out yourself on one piece of paper and you can color it if you want. So here we go. It says, Pharaoh wanted all Israelite babies to be killed. To save baby Moses' life, his mother hid him in a basket and let him float on the river. God had a plan for Moses' life. Pharaoh's daughter found him and took him to live in the palace. So that was just a quick explanation to help you understand. So what we learned from this or what we should take back from this is God has a plan for all of us. So for Moses, even though it's really sad and his mother had to send him away so nothing would happen to him to protect her baby, somebody found Moses and took him to the palace which happened to be Pharaoh's daughter, and took good care of him. So we all need to remember, especially now, that God has a plan for all of us. So with that, I have some fun activities for you. So the first fun activity was is, is I wanted to see if you could create like a basket to put Moses in or something. So anything recycled that you can find around the house. So my daughter, I gave her the challenge and she went and found this. I had a basket that I um, put some old Legos in and she took the Legos out, put the basket, took the basket and put her baby in it and wrapped the baby in the blanket for baby Moses. So that was one challenge. And then so she completed that challenge for me. So you don't have to find a basket necessarily. You could just build something that maybe, you know, a little tiny baby could float in. Um, it obviously do not make it real. Um, a baby doll, a baby Barbie, anything that you find. Be creative, use recycled items from your house. The second challenge, which is really fun, and I think you'll have a lot of fun with this. So. In a sink or a tub or a bowl, fill some water like I got here. And what I want you to do is I have included a really cool list for you, some items. I would like you to see, and I just grabbed a couple, what sinks and what floats. So a coin, does it sink or float? You can see the coin is at the bottom. It's sunk. I have a spoon. Does it sink or will it float? Well, the spoon's too big, but I think it will sink. It's just a little too big for my bowl though. And the last thing is a straw. It's a plastic straw and it floats. Kind of hangs off the ledge. You might need a bigger bowl than Miss B has. But that's just a few things to show you. But grab a lot of objects. Make sure mom and dad say it's okay that the objects can go in the water before you put them in water. And see what sinks and floats. Now, my last challenge for you is I am going to attach a cute little craft. So, oh, there's baby Moses. And there's his basket. So... This is a printable, so you can print it out, and then it has directions. And what you do is you cut straight lines on the basket, just like I did. And then, using any other color you want, you can use white paper and make your own colors. I just chose green because I had some laying around. And you cut long pieces. And what you're going to do then is weave them in and out. And then you can glue all the pieces together. And you have a cute little baby Moses. So there you go. That is your challenge for the week. And I hope you enjoyed the story about babies, baby Moses. And remember, God always has a plan. Bye, guys.